Look at the third quarter here. Ohio State ramping up the defense. Ohio State has slowed down the manufacturing of three-point shots from Iowa. If you're not going to make threes, you can't let your opponent make threes. Kate Martin will attempt it, but no. Hitting shots. They figured out, number one, don't just rely on your offense. If you're not making shots, it cannot affect your defense. Four fouls. Molly Davis. Cody McMahon was a big difference, too, for that third in the third quarter for Ohio State. And her stat line is impressive. There's Mc, McMahon making 18 points now, seven rebounds, three assists, and she's got a couple of steals. She's got a fun personality. She told us, you know, I wanted to come in and make an impact, and I felt like graduating high school early was going to give me the best chance to do that. And, and her all-around game, man, it certainly has. Look at Stalky on the rebound. Just the second opportunities for Iowa. Stalky's got 10 rebounds, and there's going to be an arm bar call. Now, Iowa has 11 offensive rebounds. The inbounds pass was tipped and then hit the back of the backboard.
the paint. Oh, it bounces out. Got robbed on that shot. It's a triangle and two. Taylor Michael is the other player that Iowa is matched up with. Second time we've seen Iowa use the triangle and two. And Ricky Harris now has missed three straight threes. She compliments her post player's hands, her ability to catch the ball, and she can put it just about anywhere. She can shoot from just about anywhere, although that one is off. All right, what's Clark over and back? Let's see. Now watch at the top of your screen. Did the ball, uh, you have both feet and the ball, did both, all three get across? Live they said no, there was nothing called there. And it eventually led to an Iowa bucket. Mikula Shakova was just whistled for her first foul. Iowa is at six of its last eight shots. Double-figure points now in their last four games, 19 tonight for Taylor Theory. Make it 20. I was using different ways to break the press. At times, they'll inbound it to Caitlin Clark. Let her be the decision maker at the top of the press. At other times, they put her on down the floor. It's like, do you want to take the ball out of the hands of Caitlin Clark, or do you want her to be the decision maker when she gets down in scoring territory? Yeah, because it's either her scoring the bucket or she's facilitating her teammates, specifically Monica Sinano. They've combined for 15 points in the first quarter, 11 in the second, just nine in the third quarter, and that's when Ohio State was able to make its run. Now, Iowa went to the triangle and two. 
just made it really difficult when Ohio State not knocking down threes. That's a problem. Kaitlin Clark, a rebound away from a triple double. Timeout taken. Kaitlin Clark, 26 points, 15 assists, nine rebounds. We told you she is the total package distributing the basketball. She can score and attack in the basketball. She's got great court vision of knowing where, who, and when to get her teammates. A little sugar sharing it. Fantastic job tonight. Now you see most career games with 25 points, five rebounds, five assists. She's in pretty good company with Sabrina Ionescu. That is great company right there. And look how much she surpassed her. 33. That's Woo! plus 16 if my math is right. Great job. I did not even use the calculator. That was that Vanderbilt education. Thank you very much. Again, one rebound away for Caitlin Clark from what would be her eighth career triple-double. It's a 10-point lead for Iowa. Iowa just gets it across in time. When do you start fouling if you're Ohio State? I would say you start now. You want to extend, but as well as Iowa shoots the ball, I would start bringing double teams, trying to get steals, and then go score quick. That was Ebony Walker. McMahon, she never had possession. And it's going to be Iowa ball again. And Iowa State just has one timeout. Deflected in the hands of Mike so. And Ohio State uses its final timeout. Kevin McCuff was quick to call that timeout. I think to make sure that he has an opportunity to get his defense set. I think this is too where Kevin McCuff really misses JC Sheldon. The brains on the court. Baseball pass to the court. Martin. One minute to play. So now game. Ohio State has play. got to foul. One o'clock. As you want to extend the game, have as many possessions as possible, it's really late for Ricky Harris to commit the foul. Seven for eight tonight from the charity strike for Clark. Still looking for one more rebound for that triple double as she hits a free throw. You don't have many to choose from to foul if you're Ohio State with the free throw percentages Iowa has. Mike Sell has to get up the shot. Quickly rolls out into the hands of Caitlin Clark. That is her rebound. That is her triple-double. Got a foul. I don't care who has the basketball. The clock is ticking. They finally do once the pass goes over to Barton. Caitlin Clark with a triple-double. It's her eighth career triple-double. 28 points, 10 rebounds, 15 assists. She came in with a mission. They'd been on a really good streak before that Michigan State game. They faced adversity. They lost McKenna Warnock. It's her eighth double, uh, eighth triple double. Third this season. But against Michigan State, lost Warnock. Zanano got in foul trouble. They weren't making their threes, Iowa. Was an I, I, a wake up call. Mike still hits, and now Lisa Bluter is going to call timeout. And they will advance the ball. Taylor Mikesell has the ability to knock down these shots off the screen. Quick, ready, knocks it down. A few seconds left, anything can happen. So don't go anywhere. Clark gives it up. Iowa trying to burn as much clock, clock as possible. Kate Martin is fouled. Lisa, go ahead. Lisa. Mark. <laughs> you can't tell me to go ahead and then you I'm won. sorry. Martin shoots 81%. You've got Caitlin Clark. She shoots 83% from the free throw line. Trying to get Mike's an open look again. 
You know, Lisa Bluter told her team after shoot-around, we have a chance to take down the number two team on its home court. How fun would that be? When, when you establish the belief in your players' minds that it can happen and as excited as Iowa was, when their coach, when they heard their coach say that they could knock off an undefeated team, you knew they were going to be focused when they came in here today. Ricky Harris underneath. Iowa calls timeout, 7.8 seconds Iowa. remaining. Kaylin Clark, look, she, when she's in the game, she usually has a big game, but a triple-double tonight. And you see her numbers against Ohio State. Now, this is an Iowa Hawkeye team that had lost its last four games against the Buckeyes. But I think the contribution that I was able to get from Kate Martin, and then you have Monica Sinello, who was able to bring 22 points, and that's after being on the bench for quite a while with those four fouls. The balance attack and the maturity of Iowa has put them in the position they're in right now. Ohio State had trouble scoring. The defense and the switching up of the defense that Iowa had from going from their man to the 2-3 zone, box of one, triangle and two, really kept Ohio State off balance. And Clark can just hold it. The Buckeyes busted on their home floor by the Iowa Hawkeyes. It's a fantastic game plan not to allow Ohio State to get into a rhythm. They shut down the paint. They dared them to knock down perimeter shots and then headed fast the other direction with the Iowa Hawkeyes. First win against a top two team since 1999-2000 and Caitlin Clark with a triple-double tonight. Her eighth career triple-double. Iowa victorious in Columbus.